お主のことはよく覚えているぞ死んだと聞いていたが一体何を企んでいるフクロウよ企むなど滅相も What? さあ我と共に参りましょうぞこのフクロウは巫女様の尊いその恩地をお守りしたいだけにございますお主も留院に見入られたか話すことはない猿がよいあいすみませぬが懐かしきこの眺めをもうしばし堪能したか満足しましたら帰りまするフォークデュード He's alive, but we saw him die three years ago. Okay, well then. Dragon's blood or. Rejuvenation waters. Infested or immortal? Which are you? It has to be one. I also noticed in that cinematic his arms were really gangly thin. For such a big guy, why is his arm so fucking thin? I'm leaning on undying. Also, he could have faked his death, that's true, but why would he do that with his dad, with, with his son? It makes no sense. He wants you to protect the divine heir, right? So why wouldn't he help protect him? And then we fall back to the whole thing. Genichiro chose to attack and steal the divine heir. Harata Estate, their vassals. Try to defend that. Bandits came in at the same time just to sack the place while it was under attack, coincidentally. Our former master, Lady Butterfly, the one that taught us, you know, different shinobi arts, tried to kill us and tr was sabotaging and holding the Divine Air hostage, trying to kidnap them, I think. Although the way it was portrayed and shown, it was like it was trying to draw us, specifically me, the, you know, Sekiro, back. I feel like there's a bigger picture going on here more than just Immortal Army and Kuro. It weirdly feels like it has something to do with me and my character. I don't know, though. Also, look at that massive sword on his back, the one that gave me the scar over my eye. I think the cinematic. Fucking cool, dude. I don't want to sit in theory craft forever, though. I've already been doing that a lot. Are you undying or immortal? Or did you just fake the death for some reason? Based on those arms, I'm like... I don't know. God, you're tall, man. You're so tall. And it really is a pretty view. I believe he's alive. はかりごとよ。お前こそか。あの世死んだと思うておったがな。巫女様のお力にて、死人より帰りました。それよ。はわしはあの巫女の力を、留院を支柱にしようと思う。ですが、わかっておる。第一の掟により、父が命じる。主を捨てよ。今より、あの巫女はお前の主ではない。巫女様を捨てる。そうじゃ、狼よ。父の言葉に従い、巫女を捨てよ。
Holy shit. Wow. The game has genuine replayability. If this isn't bullshit, if this isn't illusion of choice like last time, the game has alternative endings, which doesn't surprise me because it's from software. And I want to acknowledge that if I were to break the code and stay loyal to Kuro, I will go down the path of protecting Kuro as Ishin wants and prevent Genichiro from taking him and using him. I think... Staying loyal to Kuro is the good option. And I would say forsaking Kur Kuro and following my father would mean making my father also like dragon blood like me and going down the line, as Ishin said, of killing relentlessly, betraying those that trust me and ultimately probably becoming, like, embodied by that spirit. I don't know whether there's... good or bad per se. It's all perspective. And I don't know whether there's only two endings to this game, but this makes me think there's two endings. And in my opinion, for my first playthrough, I do not want to go down that line of becoming bloodthirsty and I do not want to betray Kuro evidently Owl has been hiding things from me manipulating me for a very long time if this is his plan why did he fake his own death slash bring himself back via undying I don't know why did my other master who was you know involved with Owl here, Lady Butterfly, betray me. Because they want the dragon blood and to be immortal. Maybe they're afraid of death. I don't know. But I think it's fucked up. And as I said, I think long term, an immortal army would be a horrific thing to the world. And we should sever the ties of immortality. That's what I want to do. With my first playthrough. Did you die? <laughs> Oh, he's betrayed. Thanks to <laughs> There's no way he's going to let me walk away. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, look at the engrave. He's fast! Hmm. Oh my fucking god, this is amazing. Oh my god. Feeling him out right now, feeling him out. He has a kick. Shuriken and a big slam. He's vulnerable after the big slam. 
There's the kick. Kick is vulnerable. Bomb. There's the kick. He throws uh, sh shuriken. Bomb. I also want um, this, this, and I don't want that. Do I want the shield? I don't know. Um, Sabi Maru is going to consume a lot. I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with the shuriken because he's jumping. And maybe it'll knock him out of the air. Also, he's jumping. I wonder if I can do the instant death blow. Honestly, I don't think so. First things first, lower his health. Jump away from the bomb. Lower his health. Aw, oh, that was really unfortunate. I got hit and fucked up. He has a stun. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? One. I got Mickey. He knows I'm gonna revive and he's ready. So is it as much as it takes? He just debuffed me. It actually got me. We don't know what it does. Trying to get posture back, but I'm getting comboed. It's time now for posture. He mikiried me again. Okay, the spear is a bad idea. Posture, please. That wombo, though. Give me posture. Stuck in a corner right now. Most. Oh, I fucked it. Oh, I'm fucking up now. I can't see anything. Holy shit. No. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, man. That's so bad, dude. Uh, that's so sad. Oh, wow. You're just going to talk to me. 
Oh, okay. It's as if, as if you hadn't fought him before, basically. Okay. Oh, shit. Wow, that was lucky. Let's oil him up. Oh, yeah. I think he's in oil right now, even though he blocked it. Damn, dude. Getting staggered. Looking for the opportunity to punish him. Now. Great. And he's on fire. There you go. Now we go to Mist. Oops. Press that at the wrong time. Wow. Wow, dude. Wow. That's not bad. But I gotta block that. That's great. See, that consumed a lot of emblems. But I can convert emblems from health. Now. One. Two. Whatever. I did hit. Oh, I fucked up. Looking for a heal. It's close. Let's finish him. Go. Shit, that hit me. Still don't know what that does. There you go. Got him for one. I'm going to go ahead and just pretend that, oh, he's not going to revive. I saw the health bar, all right? Quickly use the Tanto. Oh, I can't heal. That's what the debuff does. Oh, he's fucking BMing me, dude. He's BMing me. Are you kidding me? I know you've got two lives. Oh. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I thought so. You cheeky son of a bitch. I don't... I can't believe you. Oh my. Can't believe you're like this, father. So dishonorable. Okay, that did not do what I thought it would. You're so dishonorable. I love you, but hate you, but love you. Kind of respect you. <laughs> He needs to oil him. Well, it kind of looks oiled already, but whatever. I don't know how it works. That was bad. Oh, he walked into it, lol. Oh, that was their time, but I'm out of emblems. I need to use the Tanto again, but I need the opportunity. Like now. Right there. Please be, please be the opportunity. Go! I accidentally just threw oil. It's alright, we're good. This'll do. Hit him. 
Oh, I missed. Wow, what the fuck? Guess I just wasn't close enough. What is that? Okay. What a great fight. I'm enjoying this as much as I enjoyed Genichiro. Maybe more. Get out of that poison. You cheeky motherfucker. Try him when he jumps. It's good posture damage. Damn it. Out the corner, please. Shit. I'm stuck against the wall here. Shit. Oh, shit. I got up. Now, 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 now. Okay. Uh, what's anti-poison? I've never really... Oh, we have the, the gourd for it. It's fine. God, I've not been able to hit him in ages, but I'm going to recover now. Okay. No. Go, go, go. One, two. Yes. Can't stop that. It's okay. Look at his health. Come on, you son of a bitch. One! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Leave me alone for one second. Ah! Oh. oh my god. Go, 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 go! Yes! Okay, wow. How did you come back to life? Oh. Wow. He wasn't undying. He wasn't immortal. Well, we knew he wasn't immortal because he wanted the dragon blood to become immortal. He wasn't undying. Wow. And, uh, fucking, by the way, faked his death. He did, he faked his death. That's what happened. Why would he do that? It still makes no sense to me. He obviously wanted to use the immortal blood, just like maybe my old master, Lady Butterfly, did. Obviously, like Genichiro. But why kill, try kill me? I, I, is it because you knew that I would protect my new master over following your law? Maybe. The great Shinobi Owl was Foster Favi to the wolf. Yeah, we know that. Aromatic branch. Dried aromatic wood from the Ever Blossom. Plucked by the wolf's father. The one that took down the tree 
you know, to prevent it from being used, the, the Sakura leaves, it was our father, the one that did it, and here's why, to prevent you from doing the thing that allows Kuro to sever the ties of immortality. He wants to use the blood, so of course he takes down the tree that's required for the ritual. To prevent you from doing the immortal severance. Ever blossom is a sacred tree, and as such it's right with nostalgia. Takaro would likely gaze upon this branch when once it bloomed, reminded of home. And then, yeah, needed uh, for the immortal severance. Um, I am really sad that I didn't one-shot him, because I think I was clearly capable. But I would argue that my first attempt was so sloppy, and I used, like, half my heals in the first sort of phase for no reason, that I probably didn't deserve to beat it on my first try. But we got it on the second, and I'm okay with that. That was a wonderful fight. I had a great time with it. I tried a bunch of different shinobi tools. The, um, shuriken worked really well to interrupt his posture regain. It also did good posture damage when you hit him with the, the jump. Um, my firecracker technique was very good. It's just always good anyway. Um, the spear was a really bad idea. And certain frost attacks, like power attack, you'd instantly die or like lose most of your health. So it wasn't worth using. He was literally mikiring me, which is dope. The great shinobi owl's unbridled ambition was to obtain the power of the dragon heritage. Now is the time to let one's true name ring out across all of Japan. It was all for the sake of this ambition. He wanted to be immortal, and he wanted to be the great Shinobi Owl forever, I suppose. Like, legacy-wise. He didn't want to die. I think it was for selfish reasons, rather than for Ashina reasons. And he took advantage of Gen Genichiro's ambition for what you can say were quote-unquote good ambitions, good reasoning, even if long-term bad. That was insane. <laughs> what, you got nothing to say? After that? Alright. Alright. <laughs> すまぬ。苦労様。すまぬ。なすべきことを Damn, the fact that you can betray Kuro is insane. It just feels so wrong. It's like, I know there's the whole good and evil and, you know, debate and everything and maybe what Kuro is doing is wrong and all this stuff. And there's loads of different perspectives you can take on it, right? But ultimately... Going down that path feels like the dark path. This feels like the personal sacrifice path. And for the good of Ashina and the world as a whole to prevent this whole immortal obsession. Miko-sama, you took the materials to your hands. Oh, that's... ...the material of the material.妙な形をしておるな。やはり祀られておりました。そうか。竹る様の記されていた通りだったな。はい。その石の岩戸の奥の洞窟です。ふん。そのようなところから腰に乗り、どこへ嫁に行くというのか。ま、考えても拉致が明るな。かぐわしく。うん。苦労様。あの場は
戦況の入り口なのやもしれません。Well, そうか。かぐわしくとは、源の好奇をまとうこと。それを指しておるのやもしれぬな。I've been told to eavesdrop on Kuro. To do so, I just need to hug a wall. Oh, it's literally. I don't know whether it's this wall or any wall counts, but that's how you do it. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> What? Are they just celebrating that they're almost there to sever the ties of a mortal? I don't know, it just sounded shady rather than like, we're almost doing it, like, Sekiro is almost there or whatever. So basically, I've been warned for the YouTube audience, I've been warned that there's something at a certain point which is really important and it's going to be sad if I miss it. And so people were planning on reminding me to do a certain thing. And apparently it's come up, so that's why I'm taking guidance here. Obviously, I don't know what's going on, but rather than letting me miss something, because I might just not press against a wall here, um, that's why I'm doing this. Oh, this is actually a new idol because I need to activate it. Good thing I actually went to it. Ah,、oh, she's moved, see? Oh, she's here. Oh, here we go. おそらく何か秘められているそうですかどうしたタケル様の記録に解釈という言葉がありましたああ、yeah, oh. おそらく解釈とは流院の巫女の命とともにその不死を断ち切ること何だとこのまま不死立ちの道を歩まれるならば不思議で苦労様巫女様のお命を絶たねばならぬはい不死立ちこそが苦労様の望みそれは承知していますですが狼殿苦労様を殺さぬ道がないものでしょうか流院は常ならぬ力そのような道もあるやもしれぬならば狼殿九郎様を殺さぬ道それを共に探ってはいただけませぬか I agree I don't want him to die I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna do this play. Wow, I can't believe this many choices. I'm gonna try to do this playthrough in a way that lets Kuro live, because I just think he's like a good kid. And I really am glad to find that there are different ways I can do this and play this game. Because replayability. I'm really happy to see this. Miko sama wa shinasenu. Arigato. ございます手がかりを探らねばなはいうんそうか巴殿の狼殿私に一つ心当たりがあります調べを進め分かったことがあればお伝えしましょうああそれからこのこと巫女様には伏せておく<笑>ああ、はい、ホーリークラップ。Thank you for making sure I didn't miss that.、Um, wow. So it's like you've got three options. Betray your master, go with your father. Maybe go down the bloodthirsty path, if that's what that was. And then have Ishin be against you as well. That would be interesting.、Um, and Emma as well. Wow, wow, wow. The more you think about it.、Um, make your father a mortal, lol. That's interesting.、Um, Whatever happens with that. Then go down this path where you go against Owl and then behead Kuro, and I guess that's the ending. And sever immortality. Or another path where you sever immortality but you also save Kuro's life. 
That's what I'm seeing right now. That's great. He wants me to do it now, right? So we put in the two things, the flower and the stone. Then we do the incense. And I guess at that point he would want me to behead him. I feel like I don't want to do this right now. Okay, I'm gonna rest and see if that progresses. Ah, here we go, here we go. Tomoe's note. Written in Tomoe's soft handwriting. Lord Takaro coughs a worsening still. Returning to the Divine Realm is hopeless, and I wish only to sever the dragon's heritage and restore his humanity. Restoration requires the Ever Blossom and Mortal Blade, and yet I cannot acquire the latter. It was hidden by the High Priest of Senpao Temple, who has no desire to sever the immortal ties. Well, we've got the Ever Blossom, we've got the Mortal Blade, so maybe we don't need to go to this High Priest? <laughs> ここには書かれています。流院を立ち、人に返す道があると。そのためには、トコザクラの花がいるようです。以前お伝えした通り、トコザクラとは竹る様が宣教より持ってこられた桜です。ですが、何も。Yeah, we know. Owl did. Guess we could plant it if it's not got like flowers on it. Tokozakura.木そのものが失われてしまったのです。木そのものがない。当然に。Tokozakura.の花もないか。はい。ですが、持ち去られた枝には。I've got that branch, dude. それが見つかれば、あるいは。Tokozakura.の枝とは。<laughs> By the way, I'm just holding it. <laughs> kind of a big deal. Oh, shit. I could plant it. どうした。いえ。トコザクラがあった頃のことを思い出そうとしているのですが、どうも記憶がおぼろげなのです。お二人の お墓。何？トコザクラの跡にあるタケル様と友江殿のお墓を参ってみようと思います。何か思い出せるかもしれません。Where is that? Tell me where it is. I'll go. Right, let's go to the grave. And I can actually swim in this now too. Oh, check it out. We can go from this way. And uh, there's the two guards, but they've moved. Oh. Oh. What? 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 <laughs> oh my god. How do I fight it? How does this work? <laughs> okay, hold on. I can't use divine confetti while I'm swimming. Does that mean I need to... Whoa. Does that mean I need to use the divine confetti? Um confetti and go into the water or I can just do it like this it's honestly not too bad this is kind of awesome actually oh shit I fucked up there not to worry boys 
I got this sweet baby right here. Anti-terror god. Alright. <laughs> Not to worry, boys. I've got the anti-terror god in the mind. Alright, so I have to move while these come for me. I can't go in when it does that. That's one I can punish. And this is one too. I just have to go in and out. Honestly, the damage you do is quite good here. Alright, we just gotta wait. Gotta chill. Let these despawn. I probably want to stay in range of him so he stops, you know, doing that attack. There you go, that works. Got him. Nice. That was kind of a cool fight. It was very it was very different. It was not really like um, anything I'd experienced before. I didn't expect to find a headless in there, dude. I did not expect that. The fallen headless spirit of Ungo that reduced vitality damage taken from physical attacks. It's the defense one. The super spirit emblems, blah, blah, blah. Headless of the ruined form, corrupted heroes, once fought the country. Warrior lost his mind in the defense of the state. He tempted mutiny, was met with a swift beheading, and the lifeless body sunk to the bottom of the moat. That was dope. Very cool. And I enjoyed that fight more than like a regular headless fight.